Hello again, everybody. This is Jim, your product expert with Water Pumps Direct, coming to you with another Q&A video for your viewing pleasure, enjoyment, and hopefully some good information. Today, we're going to talk about total head lift and what does that refer to? Um, basically, this is going to handle and deal with any kind of non-submersible pump, whether it's gas or electric. On uh, this application and, um, and uh, demonstration, we're actually going to use the Honda WB30 water pump for an example. Um, this pump has a rated maximum suction lift of 25 feet at sea level. So from your water surface to the intake of the pump, that's what we call your vertical head lift. That's, if you look down here on the bottom diagram here, uh, from the, again, from the water surface, not from the end of the, your piping that's going down into the water. We're counting from the water surface to the intake of the pump. That's your suction lift. How much lift is that? How high above the water is that pump sitting? So if it's more than 25 feet, you're not going to get any water. It's not going to work. It's not going to pull the water. It doesn't have the energy to do that. Um, this pump, for example, has a total head lift of 25 feet. So if you've got a 25-foot suction, that means you have, what, about um, 60 feet to work with on your discharge side. Um, that'll give you a total head lift of 85 if you look on the pump curve here. Um, 85 feet is about where it maxes out to on the top over here. Now, that said, doesn't mean you want to max that out and go all the way up to 80 feet. You don't want to be doing 25 feet of suction and, and 60 feet of, of total head lift because you're not going to really get any GPM. Here's your GPM ratings on the bottom here. You're not going to get nothing. You really want to try and center whatever you're doing um, based on pump curve in the middle two-thirds area of that pump curve. That's where you're going to get your uh, maximum operating efficiency for that pump. So say you've got maybe 10 feet of suction head lift down here and you're pumping maybe 40 feet. You're looking at a total of 50 feet. You know, at that point, you're almost right in the middle of the curve, snap dag in the middle. You're going to be doing about 125 gallons a minute with that pump. Um, should get pretty good results with that. Now, you don't get pressure with that. You, when we don't figure pressure in, then we start looking at the, the right side of the curve. That's going to give you your pressure uh, ratings on here. Um, so at 50 feet, you're going to get about 125 gallons a minute. You're going to get maybe about 22, 23 PSI at that lift. Um, so if that's a consideration, you have to figure that in too. If you're just pumping water from point A to point B, typically don't have to worry about it. It's, it's really a, a no-brainer, no, no big deal. But if you do we have to worry about pressure, that's something we have to figure in, and that takes a little bit more calculation. But that's another slide, another video. Um, for now, this is going to just give you the idea of head lift. You got suction head lift. You got dis total discharge head lift. Those two added together is your total head lift or total static head. Um, hopefully that answers some questions for you on that. If you have any other questions on this or more questions at all, uh, more Q&A video ideas, shoot me an email. Give me a call. My extension is listed there if you want. Email us. Check out our how-to library. A lot of good information over there and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, y'all have a great day. Take care.